My name's Adrian Kennard. I'm here at Andrews and Arnold. And I'm going to demonstrate something to you which David Cameron is quite adamant should not be allowed. I have here a stack of paper. On each sheet, I have 160 characters of letters and numbers that are random. Each sheet is different. I have a whole pile of them. I've given an identical pile of paper to my friend. I could have done this weeks or months ago. Now, what I want to do now is I want to send a message to my friend that no one else can read. So I'll write the message on the paper. Now, I'll pick my message. Shoot. Theresa May, 2 p.m. Friday. I'm clearly a threat to national security here. And use the long lens. He's a photographer. And now I use this simple addition sheet that lets me add letters and numbers together to work out the message. So if I start here with S and H, I can find S and H, and that gives me a Z. And then I can find H and V, and that gives me a 2. This could take a while, so here's one I did earlier. So we have Z226ETU. It's gibberish. Now, I can send this to my friend, perhaps using a text message. I'll send it to him now. Now, I've still got the message here. So what I need to do is burn this. Burn the message and the key, so I no longer have a copy. My friend's got the gibberish. OK, so I have received a message. It's complete gibberish, and what I'm now going to do is transcribe this message that I've received into the boxes on this sheet. So it's Z226 E T U O. Now, obviously, this is going to take a while, so to save time, here's one we already transcribed. So now I've written this message out in the lower boxes, what I need to do is use this lookup table, the same one that Adrian used to encode the message to look it up. So I've got an H and I'm looking for a Z. So I go to H, I go along until I get to a Z, and then I follow it up and that is the letter S. So I'm going to write the letter S. I've got a V and a 2, so I slide along until I get to a 2, move up and it's an H, so S H, and then we need an O, and move along until we get to a two, and that comes out as the letter O. So S H O. This is going to take a while. So here is one that we already finished. And so what I've done there is decoded the message, and it turns out it says shoot Theresa May, two p.m. Friday, and use the long lens. So now I've decoded the message, uh, and I know what it says, I can completely destroy this, and I no longer have it. So what have I done here? I've sent a message to a friend that's completely secret and can't be read. Can't be read by the NSA or GCHQ. It's totally secret, it uses a system called a one-time pad. Now, the police could come after me and ask for the keys to decode these messages under RIPA, a law that means I have to hand over the keys, but as you saw, we destroyed those keys. We would have burned them as is normal for this process. So not handing over those keys isn't illegal if we don't have them. Now, I've done all of this with nothing more than pen and paper, not even a calculator, let alone a computer. It's really simple technology because this isn't about technology. It's about privacy. You could ban every app, every computer program, every system, and it would still be possible for people to send a message that's secret and cannot be read by anyone else. Even a child could do it.